farm is the starting map but don't get confused it's not that it's simple and you need to move on to valley north ridge and armory no many professional players use this map to farm it over and over again basically forever before I dive into the details of the map, let me talk about three priorities. One is combat and fight, second one is looting, third one is surviving and extracting. You're gonna have extracting and survival on the top of your list, keep that in your mind. Second one is combat and fight, and the third one is looting. If you go into the battle with the mindset that you're gonna loot the map and forget about surviving and such, you're gonna fail. So always surviving and extracting should be top of your list. If you mix up the order, you loot some stuff and then jump into a fight, one versus three, and then you die. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Spawns. You're gonna have five spawns on the west side of the map and six spawns on the east side. After spawning, the first thing you wanna do is to understand who was spawning around you and approximately estimate their location without revealing yourself. Map awareness, knowing your enemies or guessing where they are is highly important in the game. It's even more important than your weapon and everything else. And here's a tip for you. Don't rush instantly to the motel because you're gonna get squeezed by the teams who are spawning on your side and by the enemies who are going to come from the other side. You're gonna be that one person in between who is going to be hunted down and destroyed, absolutely. So don't rush to the motel. You should be the one trying to get behind the teams that were spawning on your end and then you can be absolutely sure that nobody is gonna shoot you from behind. Combat areas. On the west side, it's absolutely trade center. Try to get familiar with that location. There are many fights happening around that location. On the opposite side of the map, the villa is kind of the primary place where fights happen and maybe secondary the loading area. Players are gonna slowly move to the center of the map. So in between these locations and the motel and stables, there may not be that much fight happening, but be aware if you exit the trade center or the villa, because it may happen that the players were waiting for you to clear the location and then just waiting for the right moment to do an ambush. Stables is one of the danger areas, so some teams try to approach the motel from the north and before doing that they need to secure the stables and we also have a free safe, I'm gonna get back to that in a second. Motel, the main objective of the map. Take your time to explore it, to know it inside out. You need to know all the entrances, the basement, the bottom floor, the upper floor, everything because that's gonna help you to survive the fights in the motel. Loot and keys, so we have two free safes on farm. One is stables inside the stable itself and then a second one near to the motel. It's no longer inside the motel, it's outside on the road. The stable safe is an easy target, but be cautious while you're fighting the bots, you're gonna make noise. And if you are the one arriving first to the stables, other players are gonna know that you are there at the stables location. The free motel safe has been moved outside into the back of the van and I highly recommend you to only loot that safe if you are absolutely sure that nobody is around or use one of your smoke grenades to protect yourself. Just quickly run to the safe, open it and then run away because you can be shot from basically anywhere. On the other hand, the safes you're gonna find in the motel for which you need keys are much more interesting. So let's talk about those. I would recommend you playing the map with four keys. The master bedroom key needed for the villa which costs you approximately 70K. The barn office key for trade center which is gonna cost you 60k. The Motel 201 key, which is gonna cost you 50k. And in all of these, you're gonna find one safe, one regular safe. And then we have the Motel main guest room key, which is kind of the most expensive key in the game. But believe me, it's worth it. It costs 730,000 coin, but you're gonna get an electric safe and the regular one. I cannot promise you that you're gonna get a red item every single time you open it. I opened it twice recently and I got one, the ways. Weapons. So this is gonna be easy because I recommend you to play with an assault rifle with a decent zoom attached. And you should pick the assault rifle based on your preference. It can be an M4, a Fall, an F2000, an AKM, whatever you like to play. SMGs are also fine, but in that case, be sneaky in between the locations. It's gonna work well in the motel, but outside, well, not that much. Snipers are okay, but if you wanna do sniping, then head over to Valley or Northridge. Extraction. So your primary extraction should be the one that is near to the motel. So always have money in your pockets or rig or backpack or composite case because that's gonna help you to get out of the map quickly 
and secure your loot. Because by the time you get to the motel, you already did fights at trade center or villa and then heading to the motel. Maybe you check stables, so if your bag is not full by that time, then, you know, simply extract and start another game. In case it's too risky to extract at that location, or it has been already used, then you need to run approximately 400 meters to the other side of the map. But be cautious, if you need to do that, then be sneaky, take your time, play it slowly to secure your loot. As a conclusion, I can say that you can extract approximately 200,000 coin up to 1.5 million per game, regardless of your mode. It can be normal, storm, lockdown. Obviously, loot is better on lockdown and storm as well. But all in all, I feel this is the safest map to play on. If you compare it to Armory, where you have decent bots, they're gonna destroy you. On Valley and Northridge, you're gonna have the snipers. And on Port, Port is just Port. It's, it's full with campers for example. So farm is a good choice, you can continuously and constantly farm the farm. I wish you all happy looting, thanks for your attention, JD out, bye.